What's shake it guys? Luke Dancy here bringing you a magic review for the brand new brass buttons from Matthew Wright and Mark Southworth. This just hit the All Things Magic warehouse and I am super stoked to tell you about it because there's been a lot of questions. Because it's brand new, I love it we can get stuff early to start to tell you about. So, what is it? What is this brand new set? What does it let you do? Uh, well, this is based on the classic copper silver brass routine, which is typically done with three coins that are the same size. But they look different, like a half dollar Chinese coin and usually something like a copper coin. So they look different, but same size. Now with this, you got three totally different looking things here, a button, you got a washer with a hole in it, and you have a lucky poker coin. Um, so right away the contrast, that's a win. Makes this feel even more impossible in my opinion. Uh, what this allows you to do though are some really nice changes. Now of course you're seeing now what looks to be like a spellbound change, but my friends don't run away. That's not what this is. You're actually able to take one of the coins and toss it and have it change visibly into the washer and the button. Or the other way around, the washer and the button visibly can change into the lucky poker coin. Uh, so you can do this visibly on the open as you're seeing here, or for some of you that like to do routines without that visual flair, you can also take you know everything, put it inside of the little uh, cup the old Moscow Mule Cup here. Uh, take out some of the items. You've got the washer and you've got the button and now you put them in your hand and you've got that nice kind of undercover change that happens when you open your hand. Uh, you can now show the transposition has happened. And there's a really nice ending that you can do as well, which we'll tell you a little bit more about this uh, a little bit later here in the review. But that's what this lets you do. Transpositions in the hands, visibly, um, and it looks great. So let's jump into some of your questions, which I know you have. Uh, I made a couple of notes here. So let's talk about the coins themselves, first of all. Um, I don't know why I say coins themselves, because they're not all coins. The items <laughs> themselves. The button is just the button. It actually has a nice little bit of weight to it, though. So it's quality. It's not got nothing going to happen to that. Uh, the washer has some really nice weight to it. And don't worry, even though it looks like, you know, kind of rusty, it's not, there's nothing coming off on your hand. I was kind of worried about that when I saw it, but trust me, this is just the look. It's not actually gonna have, you know, crap all over your hand, so. And the poker, lucky poker coin, is what you see as well. And good weight with the two of these. These just feel good. They really do feel good. And even this, you'll notice, feels good. Not just like a regular button. Uh, you also do receive your gimmick, <laughs> uh, along with these regular items, uh, your gimmick, Obviously, as you saw uh, in some of the changes there, uh, can look like this, can look like the lucky poker coin, or at a moment's notice without exposing anything, uh, you can change it into the uh, washer and the button. So uh, that's obviously included here too. Um, and I will say the gimmick is really, really nice, really nicely made. You're gonna be happy with this one, I'm sure. So quality is there. I want the price tag. Another nice surprise for me with this one was the price tag of $40 which is crazy because when you see these sets usually, the old style, they're usually more than that, especially a nice set. But there's also something else that makes this a huge value to my friends out there. And I'm talking about the instructional that you get not only from Matthew Wright, but also Javier from uh, Murphy's, Will Houston, Craig Petty, Roddy McGee. They're all sharing ideas and routines, but that's not all. You also have ideas and routines from Mark Elsden, Nicholas Lawrence, Sean Goodman, Gary Jones, and Paul Roberts. So that is where a lot of the value comes from, according to one of our customers who actually purchased this. My friend Kevin picked this up and couldn't wait to get it. So he said, Luke, can you just send me the instructions so I can start to learn it? Because he loves copper, silver, brass. And I did. And when he started learn learning the routines, he said, Luke, honestly, they could have just sold the routines for 40 bucks. Because there's not really been like a nice updated definitive work on the copper, silver, brass plot. He was really blown away by what was taught on that. So that's a huge value as well, is from the teaching that you get. It's not just Matthew, there's a lot of other people. Uh, so you get that too. Uh, and you know, the routines plus the gimmicks, it's a great price tag. And the skill level is within any of you out there. This is almost beginner level stuff. So if you're kind of nervous about coin magic or you don't think you're good enough, trust me, these coins, this set, whatever you want to call it, does the work for you, which is nice. Um, the other nice thing too is, as you notice in the video here, uh, I, I was talking a little bit about that explosion of the buttons at the end. You can see Matthew also does this in the hands of the spectators. So you don't just have to put that like in a cup with a load. You can see he's also not wearing a jacket. There's no sleeves. So yes, you can literally do this in walk around situations uh, where you have the buttons appear 
Um, and that routine, of course, is taught on the instructional for you too. So um, that's a nice touch. And speaking one more time about the instructional, the other thing to mention is, I know what you're thinking, Luke. Okay, well, there's gimmicks in place, so I don't like gimmicks. Don't you run away. What they suggest using in a lot of the routines taught include a Quiver Switch Wallet, which we do stock, and we'll talk more about that later. So the Quiver Wallet allows you to start the routine clean, do the routine, and at the end, you will end clean as well with the wallet. So that is suggested. So if you're worried about that, they've got that covered for you too, okay? So that's good to know. Um, the only other thing that I will tell you about um, that I did notice uh, when I got the set, uh, which to me, this is not a big deal, but I do want to show you. Still a little close-up of the gimmick itself. You can see some of the gold from the poker, Lucky Poker Coin, it starts to kind of chip away a little bit. You see some of that washer uh, coming through. And again, I'm not gonna you know, expose anything here, but uh, it was something I noticed. I also did see it in the trailer. Matthew, when he used it, could see some of that going on. Um, but here's why I don't think it's a problem. And why did, why did I tell you about it? Well, I told you about it because if you get the set and you see it, I don't want you to think, Luke, why didn't you tell me that? Come on, man. I always want to keep it real with you, you know? So the reason why I don't think that's a huge deal is because if it was the face of the coin or whatever, you know, the, the uh, washer, that would be a problem because that's the main area people see during the routine. What you're seeing now, the way this is shot is it's an angle you're kind of looking like this. So you're seeing almost more of the edge than you are the top. When you perform for real people, your hand is down and they're all looking down on the coin. So it's not a problem at all. Small little thing I wanted to mention, but certainly doesn't make this something that you shouldn't pick up if you're interested in it. So did notice that, wanted to mention it to you here. So there you go. So a quick rundown, one more time what this is, updated version of Copper Silver Brass. It's nice to see this, you know, it's a classic, but it's nice to see things revisited and made better. Uh, it's also nice to see Matthew, you know, kind of, giving a, a send-off to Mark Southworth. You know, Mark Southworth was the creator of Double Cross, the trick probably all of you do, and also Sucker Punch. Uh, Mark was quite a prolific creator, and it seems like just a really great guy. Unfortunately, we lost him, you know, uh, over the last month or so, and um, this is kind of like his last legacy that, that he was working on with Matthew, and so it's nice to see this coming out. So wanted to send some love, obviously, to Southworth family and friends, and obviously, any of you that knew him, you know, that's a real loss for the community as always. So I uh, wanted to give a nod to Mark Southworth as well. So I like this one a lot. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you are interested in picking it up, these are uh, pretty much now uh, available. Um, no longer just on pre-order, but actually available in its stock. So if you want to pick up a set, we have a link in the description for brass buttons. Again, 40 bucks, not too shabby. Uh, and we do also have the Quiver wallets in stock. The link is in the description. So. That's all I got for you. I wanted to keep this short and sweet about brass buttons. Uh, I think it's a great addition to the coin magic world. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, why don't you show some love? Give me a couple of these guys. And also, if you love magic like I do, you want more magic reviews, you like live performances, you love new magic tricks, we do live streams every week, be sure to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our channel. Uh, that way you'll know more, more and more about all things magic, because that's what we're all about. So. That's it for now, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any other questions, as always, though, please post them in the comments below. We're very active there. And we're, of course, we're always happy to help, okay? All right. Thank you, my friends. I will catch you in the next video. And in the meantime, get out there and practice, 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 and have fun with your magic. All right? All right. Till next time. See you, friends.